This is a project for the neurobiology class taught by Dr. Bing Zhang at Mizzou, and we thank Dr. Zhang for his suggestions. Myo means muscle, tonia describes tension, and congenita means that the condition has been present since birth. Thus, myotonia congenita describes a hereditary disorder affecting muscle tension. This condition is most recognizable in a breed of goats, known as myotonic or fainting goats. When startled or excited, these animals fall over with stiffened legs exhibiting what resembles fainting. It turns out the goat is not fainting, rather it has problems with its skeletal muscles. In a normal skeletal muscle, one type of ion called chloride flows quickly into the muscle cell, preventing accidental muscle contraction and helping the muscle to relax after a contraction. In the myotonic goat, there is a mutation in the chloride channel that makes it less efficient at letting chloride through. The skeletal muscles contract more easily and take longer to relax. This leads to stiffened muscles and therefore the goat falls to the ground. This disorder is caused by a mutation that affects chloride channels. Chloride channels allow chloride, a negatively charged ion, to flow into a muscle cell. The charge of the cell is what determines if a muscle is contracted or relaxed. And this disorder does not just affect goats, it affects humans too. And importantly, the same mutation affecting the goat is also found in human patients. In humans, the lower body, face, and upper body are all affected. People with myotonia congenita get rigid muscles when initiating movements or when they feel threatened or excited. Different from a normal muscle cell where the muscles contract and then relax immediately and stay relaxed until a new movement is initiated, muscles with the chloride channel mutation relax for a brief moment but then recontract and repeat this relaxation and contraction cycle over and over. You can think of a muscle contraction like a spring. In a normal muscle, the spring first shortens representing muscle contraction and then lengthens quickly, representing normal muscle relaxation. In a myotonic muscle, it is much easier for the spring to shorten normally and once it shortens, it takes a much longer time to relax the spring. Scientists have been able to further understand myotonia congenita in humans by using the fainting goats as models in their research. Even though there is still no cure yet, patients can still lead normal lives unlike the goats. If you're interested in learning more about this condition, please follow any of these links. And for more fun neurobiology topics, follow hashtag BrainyTigers on Twitter.